Guten Tag, liebe Schüler und Schülerinnen. Heute äh, sprechen wir über die Fragewörter wo, woher und wohin. Today we are going to talk about the three question words where, where to and where from. Let's take a look. Schon bekannt, already known, what you have already learned is that the word wo means where. So if somebody asks, wo ist die Katze, uh, they are asking for the location of something uh, or somebody. Um, and the answer then will be something like, sie ist hier. She is here. Now we have identified where the cat is. You have also learned this question word, woher kommt die Katze? Remember, we were asking, Woher kommt deine Familie? And what were we asking for? We were asking for the origin or where somebody was from. So, woher means we're from. Woher kommt die Katze? Sie kommt aus Italien. Okay? Now, here is a new word. The new word is wohin. So, we have learned wo and woher and now we're going to learn wohin. And wohin geht die Katze? See if you can figure out what that would mean if the answer to that question is Sie geht in die Synagoge. Now think about what would you think wohin means as opposed to wo. You can uh, shut the video if you need to think still, and then turn it back on. If you thought that wohin means where to, you are absolutely correct. So, if we now ask the question, wohin geht die Katze? Our answer would be, sie geht ins Kino, or sie geht in das Kino. Okay. Wohin geht die Katze? Sie geht ins Schwimmbad oder sie geht in das Schwimmbad. Wohin geht die Katze? Sie geht in den Park oder ne in den Park. Wohin geht die Katze? Sie geht auf den Sportplatz. Now we didn't say in here, we said auf because she's going on top of the field, okay? She's going on the athletic field, not in the into the athletic field. All the other ones, she was going into a place, okay? So please keep those two apart. And now let's look at the rules. Wo means where. Wo here means from where, origin. And wo hin means where to, destination. When we answer that question, we use the word in to say to a place. That is if we go inside or auf when we go on top of a place. In both cases, in and auf are followed by an accusative. So we would say, ich gehe auf den Sportplatz. Ich gehe in die Kirche and ich gehe in das Schwimmbad or ins Schwimmbad. Und das war's für heute. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.